Hey my beautiful people, it's Courtney and today we're doing some science experiments and I feel quite a bit like a science teacher after I did all these. Where are my glasses when I need them? So today, class, we are doing three science experiments. They are very simple to do with everyday things and they are relatively safe to do. Although I was kind of worried for a second that I was going to start a fire in my apartment with one of these. You'll see when we get there. I also have a huge favor to ask from you guys. I am in Hairdo's Next It Girl contest, and if you could go to the link that I'll leave in the description box, literally all you have to do is scroll down to my picture and click vote. You don't have to sign up or anything hard like that. You literally just have to click it, and you could vote every day until November 18th. So I could really use your support, and let me know in the comments if you do so I can send you a special thank you. I like how I'm just continuing to wear these. That's okay. But before we get started, I am having a giveaway for a MacBook Air, and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and interact with me through likes, shares, comments, you guys know the drill, and if you would like extra entries, the details will be in the description box. If you're new, welcome to my channel. We like to play with fire here. Not really, I'm kind of afraid of fire, but we're, we're doing a lot of that in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Stick around, let me know if you're new, and let's get started. For this first experiment, we're doing a tea bag rocket, which is actually very, very simple, and all you need is a tea bag and a lighter. The thing with this one is you have to play around with the type of tea you're using. For example, this bag that I'm showing you here, once I empty out the contents, the bag does not unfold. So some bags do, such as Lipton, but I found that those don't work nearly as well. The ones that I'm using for this one are Twinnings tea bags. And then once you cut it open and empty out the tea, you could just stand it up like so. Then all you need to do is light the edges of the tea bag and let it burn and watch what happens. So how exactly does this work? The burning tea bag basically generates a hot, less dense air inside and above it, so this creates a convection current. Now, as the bag burns, it becomes ash and smoke, so the hot smoke is going to rise, but since the ash is so light, the force is going to carry it up with it. For this next experiment, we're doing this magical kind of bag, which isn't actually magical, it's just kind of a little bit of science. And so for this one, we're just gonna use some pencils. And then I had this whole pack of pencils and not a single sharpener. All I had was a makeup pencil sharpener. And apparently those have a guard on it that don't let your pencils get very sharp. So that did not work at all. But luckily I had some colored pencils that were already sharpened lying around. So that's what we're gonna use. Next, we're gonna take a Ziploc bag and all you need to do is open it up and fill it with water. Then make sure to just seal the bag good and we're gonna get started by pushing the pencils straight through the bag. And as you see, none of the water comes out and starts to spill and you could just repeat this and it goes through the bag really, really easy. Your pencil doesn't have to be incredibly sharp, but you could just place them all over, do cool designs. I only had about five colored pencils so I couldn't get too creative with it. Let's look at the science behind this experiment. So basically, plastic bags are made out of polymers, so which are like chains of molecules that are flexible and give it the bag its stretchiness. So when the pencil goes through it, the stretchy plastic kind of hugs to the pencil and creates a watertight seal. Now you definitely don't wanna do this experiment in reverse and do the pencils first and then the water because then the whole seal is gonna be broken and the water will fall through. Okay, so not gonna lie, this experiment made me a little bit nervous doing it inside. So make sure you have a fire extinguisher on hand, do it outside, or just do it very, very carefully. So I'm starting off with some sand to kind of act as a barrier between the plate and the fire. And then basically I'm just tapping a hole in the center where all the ingredients are going to go. So then I'm putting some alcohol in it. You can use regular drinking alcohol, but who wants to waste that? So I'm using some rubbing alcohol and putting that in the center. You could also use um, lighter fluid and make sure you have a good amount. Then I mixed four teaspoons of sugar with one teaspoon of baking soda and poured that into the center. 
Next, you just wanna light it on fire. And as you could see, this was my second time doing the experiment. There was a little bit of a mess there, but the first time I did not have enough rubbing alcohol. So I added some more. Now this takes quite a while to form the dragging looking snake coming out of the pile. This is it super, super sped up. And it probably could have went for a lot longer, but I started to get nervous that my apartment smoke detector would go off or something would catch fire. So I put it out with some leftover sand. So how exactly does this dragon ash form? Well, sugar is a carbohydrate, so when you remove the water by starting the fire, the molecule left is basically just carbon, and you have elemental carbon which turns black, and you could kind of see it change from white to dark brown and then black. Next time, I'm gonna have to do this one outside so I could get my little dragon getting super big. Which science experiment was your favorite? Let me know. I feel like I need a teacher name for these videos. That would be fitting. Let me know what my teacher name should be if I do future videos like this. But anyways, if you missed my last videos, all you gotta do is click on the side of me and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.